Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at noon. The big story today, of course, is what's going on with Hurricane Ian. Before we jump into that, let's talk about where Connecticut started this morning. We had a couple reports of frost across Litchfield County. The lowest temperature that I heard of uh, throughout the state today was 32 degrees, 39 in Salisbury, 42 in Torrington. And notice how much warmer it was closer to the coastline. Bridgeport, New Haven, Groton all coming in in the upper 40s, central Connecticut in the mid 40s. So certainly a crisp start to the day today. And we really haven't warmed up too, too much. Many of us still sitting in the 50s and that's region wide. All of New England, New York State, even down uh, into parts of the Midwest in the 60s and upper 50s right now. Neighborhood weather shows temperatures of 56 in Litchfield, 57 in stores. We're looking at 56 in East Hartford and 58 in West Haven. Dew points back down in the 40s too, although those will likely rise as we start to increase our rain chances later on today. We're looking live right now over the Brass City. Take a look at the skies. This is a lot of clouds out there, filtered sunshine, high upper level clouds moving in 56 degrees right now. Part of the reason why we are running a little bit cooler. The shoreline at 62 coming in at 62 in New Haven right now, but still just upper level clouds, even some lower level clouds starting to appear on the New Haven camera. Mystic shows a very similar scene with milky upper level clouds high in the sky, some filtered sunshine coming through those and some lower level clouds starting to build in as our moisture slowly increases. And that's going to be the trend for the remainder of the evening. By six o'clock tonight, any of the Friday night football games might be a bit chilly out there and likely still cloudy, but dry clouds become a bit lower in the atmosphere and thicker by Saturday morning. And our first showers at the shoreline are likely to start sometime shortly after midnight. And these could make it as far north as parts of the 84 corridor, uh, likely overtaking parts of Middlesex and New London County too. By sunrise tomorrow, rain begins to overspread the state. This has been a northward shift in the forecast with heavier rain expected along the shoreline, and this will likely persist into the afternoon. I think the heaviest rain after about 12 or 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon will be located in New London County, and we should start to dry things out heading into the evening. So there will be some minor improvements there. As far as rain totals go, again, the heaviest will likely be along the shoreline, a little bit lighter in northern Connecticut, but I think tomorrow is going to be uh, fairly gray and gloomy throughout the entire day. If you have plans to be outside, I don't think it's going to be all that bad, especially in northern towns, but you may just want to have uh, rain gear nearby. Ian is a Category 1 hurricane expected to move inland, it makes another landfall, another U.S. landfall, that is, uh, later this afternoon. We track its remnants. Moisture builds north. Rainy tomorrow, maybe a couple of spot showers on Sunday, but we trend drier for Monday. And then we have to watch this. Another area of low pressure forms, and this, if it starts to budge north, could bring rain again midweek. For now, though, we're still thinking that we end up fairly dry, and we will trend much warmer by the middle of next week. Saturday, talking about temperature in the upper 50s. Certainly feeling a bit raw outside with the rain. Breezy on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with highs only in the 60s. By Wednesday, though, temperatures start to creep up. Sunshine is back for Thursday. Highs will be back to 70 degrees.